Hi everyone. I've completed my AMT D8 bulldozer, so I just thought I'd show you guys from the last video continuation of it. So I'll just show you. I've done the ripper on the back or the root rake. So that. That'll move. Done a fair bit of weathering on the bulldozer. I chose to use that decal set. So I sprayed the uh, the plough on the front with some aluminium spray, chrome spray, sorry, just enamel chrome spray, chrome bright spray. The whole model was primed with a white primer, same as the uh, low boy trailer, that white primer. That's an aerosol one I got from an automotive store. Um, this one here, it's for plastics as well and everything else, a universal primer, so... It seems to work pretty good. I use that on my trucks, on these trucks. I will show it in my previous videos. That's the completed wrecker from my last video. That's come up really nice. The Alaskan hauler. And the Kenworth W925, I think it is. The red and white one. So anyway, that's the primer on the low boy trailer. I added in all these extra pieces of styrene square section um, I had to sand down one side of it because it wouldn't fit under the lip of that top edge so that was a bit tedious but it's come up nice bit of model putty in places so I'll probably spray that today that's going to be in the dark blue that I showed in my, one of my other videos same as I've done the wheels and then I'll weather it so anyway back to the dozer done some um, just some black oil paint with a little bit of wax and grease remover, which is like a turf thinned out, little oil stains from the, um, the hydraulic tank. Um, I used some smoke, Vallejo smoke, watered down, that's a water based one, around the diesel filler cap, just to give it that effect. Some of the, um, the mud I put on that straight out of the jar, that's a hobby type of a mud effect. And I made a wash with some water based metallic grey and some red oxide. So it's quite good on some angles it looks grey and then you get it on another angle and it goes like reddish like rust so it's worked out well on the tracks that is. So, um, the hydraulic rams, on the model you don't get these lines here. They're thick copper wire that I meant to shape and glued on with super glue. And then the rubber hose. I bent these little ramps so they went down here. And then I glued the rubber hose on the end. And then I made a pump inside the engine bay that they connect to down further in the engine bay if you can see it there. So the blade moves. goes up and down and the flexible hoses are good they move with it like on the real thing so a um, little bit of oil staining on the floor um, I used some dark grey dark grey acrylic hobby paint and I dipped a scourer a bit of grey coarse scouring pad dab it on it on a bit of cardboard and then dab the, the scourer so there's hardly any paint left on it and then just stab the model with it to get that chips where it would get chipped along the edges of there where they've been working on the engine etc edges of the mud guards corners of the blades a couple of scrape marks with the same grey just dragged along with the toothpick so yeah just a bit of practice I've done some military models and I've watched a few guys online doing their weathering and Obviously the edges of things where they get knocked, where they put pins in, paint gets worn off. So yeah, I lift off the cover. I did the stack with some powders, oxide powders and some soot. 
turbo, some rusty colours, a couple of different washers. Um, I added those on a previous video I showed on the engine before it was painted. Thin copper wires from the um, high pressure fuel pump to the injectors. Turbo oil cooling lines I've added. Down under the engine's a bit hard to see. I did some other copper lines from the, um, the oil pump. I'll just spin it around. With the grill, I use one of the decals, but I used some thin cardboard strip and made it three-dimensional, then painted it yellow. I made some little tiny hinges out of styrene and some copper wire for pins. Spin him around. Again, the decal on the side there of the fuel tank. Little wear marks on the foot tread pedals. So that side of the engine looks pretty cool, it's come up nice. You can see the extra copper lines I've put down there. Carved away the plastic on the block, plastic moulded one, sorry. Down lower down there from the oil pump and I use copper, drilled little holes. You can see the ram detail on this side, same thing with the, the rubber hoses. So yeah, a fair bit of weathering but not too much. I had some more mud on the front here around this section but it made it look a bit overdone so I scraped that off it comes off fairly easy just with a, a brush um, a toothpick left more mud under the guards and on the, the wheel areas where the cogs get rubbed on the tracks I put some grey grey and grey metallic yeah I'm pretty happy with the way it came out so that'll go on the low boy trailer when it's finished and then probably behind the Alaskan hauler and I'll have to do a shelf for these because I'm kind of running out of room on my desks. But um, anyway, I thought I'd show you that. Next project, my son bought me for Father's Day. It was this 53 Ford. It's another AMT, of course. But I'm going to do it as the work truck. It gives you an option. Uh, that one. So... There's Noah's um, welding on there, so um, funny enough, my younger son's name is Noah, so I'm going to do it the same, but I'm going to highly weather it, rust it up, do some worn through paint on it. So I'll update you with that one, I'll show you that one, so all this stuff's been prepped up, the sprue's been shaved off, all the little moulding lines, everything in the box is ready for primer today, so I'm going to primer that one with a water base, with an airbrush. Vallejo light grey. So anyway, I thought I'd show you mainly the dozer. I'm pretty happy with the way that's come up. Let me know what you think of it, and if you think of any other ideas for it. And uh, don't forget to please like and subscribe so I can grow my channel and keep you guys up to date with my models. Thanks for watching.